Good afternoon. I'm Dan Milanich. I'm here with Tom Stack, and we're here to give you some updates on reopening. First, on Monday, April 19th, we met with our Continuity of Learning Committee. Uh, then on Wednesday, April 21st, we discussed the reopening plan at our Board of Education meeting. The discussion included the latest CDC and New York State Department of Health guidance. We determined that it would take a week to get all classrooms ready, ready for a return if and when we were able to return. As far as the impact on Niagara Wheatfield, the changes in guidelines did not impact our elementary program as we have been operating in a five days per week model since September. However, the updated guidelines did provide an opportunity to return secondary students to five days per week if certain guidelines were met. Most notable is the need to fall under 100 cases per 100,000 in Niagara County. Looking again at table one in the CDC guidelines, you can see that the indicators that must be utilized to determine our transmission rate. The expectation is that the more restrictive indicator is the one that must be utilized. The first is the number of cases per 100,000, and the second is the percent positivity. Currently, Niagara County is at approximately 137 cases per 100,000. It is certainly a steep decline from two weeks ago, but still does not fall under the 100 per 100,000. As you can see here on table two, when a county is considered to be in high transmission, middle and high schools must maintain the six feet social distancing. Consequently, this means we cannot return to full in-person until we move into at least the substantial transmission category. We have now reached May 14th and we are still not below the 100 per 100,000 threshold. Should we dip below 100 cases and then jump back above 100 cases, we would need to have our kids come into classes and then go back out again. It's very important for us to continue to maintain continuity of program. Therefore, I would say that a return to sec for secondary students this year to five day in-person instruction is not very likely. The CDC has provided updated new guidelines on mask wearing as of yesterday, Thursday, May 13th. The guidance signifies those individuals that are fully vaccinated can attend crowded events both indoor and outdoor, mass free. The guidance also signifies those students that are not fully vaccinated should maintain the practices of mask wearing and social distancing. It should be noted, the CDC reiterated that vaccinated people must follow existing state, local or tribal rules and regulation on mask and social distancing, as well as policies at business or at workplaces. As of now, there are no changes to the New York State Department of Health guidance regarding masking and social distancing. Thus, we will remain with our current practices. Attached, we uh, put a snippet in for you to view of the governor's message essentially stating that New York looks at the facts, New York looks at the science, New York has used that to guide their response to the pandemic, and that there would be further consultation with uh, Dr. Zucker, as well as other partners in the medical field to determine 
next steps and best practice. We do have some updates regarding our athletics and our athletic program. Effective Monday, May 17th, 2021, the following procedures will be in effect for the rest of the season, concluding on June 30th of this school year. The limit for outdoor athletic events has increased to 500 spectators for the remainder of this season in school year. Please note that green passes are still required for a weight contest until further notice. Also, two spectators per athlete for home and away contest for indoor sports, such as wrestling and unified basketball, <clears throat> will also remain in effect. Please also note, green passes still required to enter the events until further notice. Masks are still required for athletic-related activities. Reminder, for all spectators that come to our contest must park, please park in the front lot of Edwardtown Middle School and the high school campus. Handicap parking will be directed uh, for you as you enter the campus. Also, please just take appropriate guidance from our staff supervisors when on campus or at guest schools competition. A few additional items this week. We do anticipate future changes in guidance. During the pandemic, we've all grown accustomed to these rapid changes and these rapid shifts in policy and procedure. So anything that will be forthcoming with change, uh, we will certainly notify our families and our staff appropriately. Please be advised that the Pfizer vaccinations are now available in Niagara County for ages 12 and up, along with select pharmacies in the area. I did send some information to our uh, families at the middle school and high school levels earlier this week with some of those uh, uh, sign up links and options. We hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you.